Welcome to the tutorial on using the library catalog. In this video, you'll learn how to use the library catalog to search for books, ebooks, and multimedia items. After the tutorial, you'll be able to use the catalog to find a book on your topic here in Seattle Central College's library. The catalog contains items from all three Seattle colleges, Central, North, and South Seattle colleges. Searching in the catalog is pretty simple. Start at the library's home page and click the Library Catalog link under Find on the left side of the page. The catalog starts at a simple search page. To the right of the search box, you'll also see an advanced search link that can be used for more filters. On the simple search page, you'll see that Library Catalog is selected by default. This searches for books, ebooks, and multimedia resources. Changing this filter to everything would allow you to receive search results that include articles from many of the library databases. We'll focus on the library catalog results in this video. When you enter your search terms, the system will search by keyword relevance, matching your search keywords to any elements in the item's catalog record. The advanced search page would give you other ways to search, such as matching only words in the title or author. Consequently, the advanced search can be helpful if you already know some information about a specific book that you're trying to find. For now, let's say that we're looking for a book on Seattle history, but we don't have a specific book in mind or know exactly what aspect of Seattle history we might want to write about. After searching, we could narrow or broaden this search if we don't find relevant results. We've entered our search terms, and now we'll click Enter or select the magnifying glass in the search bar. Here's our list of results. You'll see on the left side of the page that we have several options for narrowing our search results. The first filter, Show Only, allows you to choose between viewing print books, these are the results for Held by Library, and eBooks, the available online results. If we wanted to see only books in the Seattle Central College Library and not the other Seattle colleges, we would select our library from the Library menu and then Apply Filters. Further down on the list, another filter that can be particularly helpful is the Creation Date filter. This allows you to see only items that were published between specific years. As you skim through your search results, you see your search terms underlined in the results list. Now, let's take a closer look at one of these items. When we click on the title, it opens the Detailed Record page. The Detailed Record page gives further useful information, including the location where the item is held. If you choose to use this item in your research, the Location Items section of the page tells you where the book is located in the library and whether it's available or has been checked out. In this section, you'll want to make a note of the location and call number, the string of letters and numbers that determine where the book is shelved in the library. If you find a book that is held by one of the other Seattle colleges, the Sign-In link will allow you to request that book be sent from the other library to Central for you to check it out. This service is free. Other tools on the page, such as the email tool, help you to save the book record for future reference. Below the location on the page, there's more information about the contents of the book, sometimes a description of the book, and subjects that the book is about. Each subject is a link, so clicking on that link will show you all of the other books in the catalog that have been identified with that subject. Let's return to our search results page now by clicking on the X next to the record and adjust our filters to look only at ebooks. To do this, we use the Available Online option. To read an ebook, click on the Available Online link in the results list. Or you can open the ebook's detailed record and click on links that appear under the heading Full Text Availability. If you are off campus while accessing an ebook, you will be asked to sign in with your last name and student ID number. Those are the basics of using the library catalog to search for books and ebooks about a research topic. Now you have the tools to try out the catalog for yourself. If you have any questions about searching the catalog or locating items in the library, you're always welcome to ask a librarian.